Greetings and good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome again to this program. My name is Bosira Benson. I'm your host. And God has blessed us today. We have a very important special guest in the kingdom of God. A friend of ours will be introducing himself shortly. And today we are here to uh, just try and answer some difficult Bible questions that we've received actually from our young people at church. And I think we will all learn. There's always something to learn when you interact with God's word every time. So, Karibu Sana, can you start by introducing yourself, sir? Uh, thank you, Basire. My mm -hmm. name is Humphrey Mwalish. Mm -hmm. I'm born again. I love Jesus. He's my Lord and my Savior. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So, uh, any title you want to go by? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, none in particular. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, brother just, Humphrey. Oh, Brother Humphrey. Oh, that is good. <laughs> I remember there's a book I read about a, a guy called Brother Lo Lawrence. You've heard of Brother Lawrence? Oh, Brother Lawrence. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, you should look for his book. I should it's look for his book. book eh? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, thank you. Uh, what do you do? Um, I work mm -hmm. at a company called Fantasy Finance uh, Limited mm -hmm. in Eldoret. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that is where I am best. You're an employee. You're an employee. <laughs> 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 I'm an employee. <laughs> employee of that company. I'm an employee of that company. <laughs> good. Thank you. We thank God. It's always good to know that there are people who are of the faith in the secular world, in the corporate world, who are working in the business world. Amen. And bringing glory to God. Amen. So, so we just go right ahead and start with a question that yes, uh, I've had so many times. Mm. Um, and this is, I think, every Christian child, boy or girl, at one particular point, they'll ask the question, where did God come from? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So where did it come uh, from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was an important one. I, I yeah. remember also uh, struggling with the same question when I was um, uh, a child, mm -hmm. asking, okay, so if everything has a beginning, mm -hmm. then uh, where did God come from? Mm -hmm. um, asking that my mother, and she didn't have an answer. She, she, I remember she told me something like, you know, he just showed up on the scene, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> but um, uh, coming to a level where I am right now, I understand that uh, God, first of all, is eternal. Mm -hmm. So that means He has no beginning, He has no ending. Uh, that's a problem for us. We are used to things having beginnings uh, and, and having endings. an end. Yes. So if there's something that doesn't have those, then you get confused. yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, b because we exist in uh, creation, and part of creation is time. Actually, time, matter, and space mm -hmm. consist creation. Mm -hmm. So uh, we being in time, where we are going with you know uh, the the past, the present, the future, mm -hmm. yesterday, today, and tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, it becomes very difficult for us to understand eternity mm -hmm. from the perspective in which we are time. Mm -hmm. um, the, the psalmist says, uh, as for you, O oh God, uh, your years have no end. You remain the same and your years have no end. Mm -hmm. uh, and later on, of course, we'll read in Hebrews that he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Mm -hmm. In fact, Jesus will say at some point, before Abraham was, I am. So he, present continuous. He's, yes, 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 present <laughs> continuous. That is who he is. Mm -hmm. He is, in fact, the theological term used for that is he's transcendent. Mm. Th that means uh, he, yeah, yes, 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 beyond time. Uh, he's also separate from his creation in the sense that he doesn't, is not bound, for example, with time, which you think yes, yes, time preceded exactly. God. Yes, if yes. If he did, then it uh, has to be uh, God. Uh, in fact, some, some people think, oh, okay, so if he was eternal, then did he just create us because he, uh, you know, it was it was boring for him, uh, so he had to create us. Mm -hmm. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, but for, for us uh, as Christians, that, that doesn't actually uh, take, uh, take somebody very far, very far because... Mm. In the Trinity, we have a community. Yes. Yeah, so that yes, yes. They're not born. They're, they're yes. not <laughs> they were fellowshipping with each other. Actually, so the, the, the Father, yes. the Son, and the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. were, were fellowshipping with, with each creation. other even before creation came on the mm -hmm. scene. So it wasn't out of, oh, uh, bored. we are bored, so <laughs> let us have some creation so that yeah. you know, we have some, <laughs> some company in the God, universe. So God did not have a beginning, no, did not have a source, an yes. origin. Yes. Everything finds its source in God. Yes, exactly. So if you are trying to think of God also having a an origin, I'm yeah. beginning at a particular time, and we also have to put matter and substance to him. He doesn't have those things. Exactly. He's uh, eternal. Uh, then, you know, if, if, if God originated somewhere, then mm. we'll ask, so where did that, where originated, originate from? So it will, it will become a cycle. There will be another God. Because yes, there will be, be, yes, be something above and above and above. <laughs> and above <so laughs> okay. It will be more confusing, yes. 
and uh, for some children who've gone to school and they're being told about, you know, the Big Bang. Push. Yes. Ah. So was he the one who big bang to the thing somewhere? <laughs> Where does uh, this place come before the big bang? Was there, was there ever in a big bang to begin with? Um, <laughs> yes, uh, I understand. When we go to high school, of course, myself, when I was in high school, most of us have been through uh, high school. We have learned about evolution. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's part of the curriculum. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have to understand that we, in as far as we study uh, evolution, but we have to have that spiritual and deep understanding that uh, we believe in creation. Mm -hmm. Yes, we believe um, behind all that we see and all there is, mm -hmm. there is, you know, some intelligent design and there's God behind that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, so th th there's really nothing like Big Bang Theory because we don't find that in scripture. So yeah, <laughs> it's, true. Uh, in scripture. it's uh, my, my father-in-law who, <laughs> um, he was apparently one of the schools where the, the children are going and then yes. in one of the sessions he used to do Bible study with them, he was given permission to do an international school. So mm. once a, a student asked him, <laughs> so you're saying about God and the Big Bang, so how, how did God and the Big Bang come together? <laughs> <laughs> like I remember when he said, uh -huh. you know, it's God when he spoke, let there be, mm. that just expression is what mm. caused the Big Bang. <laughs> And everything came into being. <laughs> and the words of God were moving out of his mouth at <laughs> that speed and that <laughs> is, that's the what bang he was teaching. Was, yes. okay. <laughs> that's the bang. <laughs> it's an interesting Actually, story. if you yeah. want more about the creation story and um, these issues about how the Big Bang and creation work together, evolution, those kind of things, yes. there's a very good website actually called creation.com. Okay. I found it very resourceful. Mm. Okay, now yes. we've mentioned about the Trinity as we were talking mm. about that and some people accuse us of worshipping three gods. And um, the question we have here is, how can we talk about God being one, and yet again, there's an aspect of them being three? Yes, yes. Please address uh, that. <coughs> uh, the, the Holy Trinity. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a doctrine of uh, the Christian faith. Mm -hmm. um, and first of all, uh, let me just try and, uh, and say this, mm -hmm. that the Trinity is a mystery mm -hmm. in itself. Mm -hmm. And a mystery simply means it's something difficult to understand. Mm -hmm and it's difficult to explain. Yes. <laughs> that is what we, it is. we never get to wrap our heads around. Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, actually, actually, there's even a theologian who said, mm -hmm. uh, if you try so hard to understand the Holy Trinity, you lose your mind. Yes. But also, if you deny it, you lose your soul. Because, <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. yes, bec because mm -hmm. uh, the Christian faith is founded, uh, mm -hmm. for those of us who understand this, we have the fundamental and unfundamental doctrines. Mm -hmm. Fundamental doctrine uh, must be believed for mm -hmm. one to be, to be saved, mm -hmm. to be truly mm -hmm. uh, born again. Mm -hmm. So the Holy Trinity is, is a fundamental doctrine of the Christian faith. Mm -hmm. And that is why there are uh, those who do not believe in the Holy Trinity mm -hmm. and they end up being cults. Uh, you know, because they either deny the Holy Trinity in a way, uh, and, and, and that is uh, very tragic because, mm -hmm. um, you know, that means you will, uh, you are not really, really, really born again. Mm -hmm. So, um, the Holy Trinity, um, it's a mystery, mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, it's, it's a fundamental doctrine for mm -hmm. the Christian faith. Mm -hmm. And uh, people have to understand, uh, we do not worship uh, we, we're not worshipping many gods mm -hmm. that people try to uh, explain as, as it is. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, uh, when we talk about the Holy Trinity, we're talking about God being one in essence, mm -hmm. but three in person. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, so in essence, you mean whatever makes God, God. Yes. For example, the essence of salt is sodium and chloride. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> whatever <laughs> makes God, God. Yes. The Son, the Father, and the Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, and yes. it. Are yes. That yes. Essence. They have that essence. Uh, exactly. Okay. Yes. But the personality. The different. Yes. Yes. That's the three. Yeah. So, so the Father, the Father is not. The Father is God. The Son is God. The Holy Spirit is God. Mm -hmm. But the Father is not the Son. The Son is not so the Holy Spirit. Distinction. Also yes. There's distinct. a distinction. Yes. There, so there are three. Uh, so God is one mm -hmm. in in essence, but three in person. Mm -hmm. um, and, and maybe. A way, maybe we can use some analogy to try and understand that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I tell people, for example, um, like for example yourself, uh, mm -hmm. Busire, I know you're a father, mm -hmm. you are a husband, mm -hmm. uh, you are a son, you are a servant in the cousin. kingdom. <laughs> yes, you're a cousin. <laughs> all these people, <laughs> all these people uh, refer to um, you, you are still Busire. Yeah, the same person. Yeah, you're still the same person. Mm -hmm. So. 
Uh, and then the Bible talks about maybe the closest an analogy, an analogy that we have mm -hmm. for the Holy Trinity. When, uh, for example, you you are married to mm -hmm. Jane, right? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, from God's perspective, mm -hmm. from uh, the biblical perspective, you are one. Yes. Yeah. The, the yeah. Bible doesn't look at you as oh, Bosire and then this Jane. No, yeah. no, no. It's one. You become one. Yeah. Yes, but these Yet are two. Are two entities. Those are two different people. Mm -hmm. Yes. This this Bosire and this Jane. These mm -hmm. are two different persons. True, but they look. Uh, the Bible looks at it, or God looks at it as this is one person. Mm -hmm. So that is the closest analogy I think we have. Uh, when it comes to Holy Trinity, that these are three um, div uh, different persons mm -hmm. uh, who also like play different roles when it comes to our salvation, mm -hmm. uh, for example. Um, and then uh, they are one uh, in essence. And also in purpose. Yes. Uh, and, and, and also we have to understand when we talk about uh, the three, um, you know, uh, being uh, three uh, persons and then uh, one in essence mm -hmm. uh, they, 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 are, they are the same nature mm -hmm. the same attributes mm -hmm. and um, equally worthy of our worship mm -hmm. uh, as they are uh, so it's not like it's not like sometimes people think like oh if I should just direct my worship to uh, Jesus. To, to Jesus and not to the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit <laughs> and not to the Father. They, they're not jealous of each other. Really. Yeah, that's they're another not. aspect because we think also <laughs> yes. for the way we we assume that they are like ourselves in our fallen nature, so that we think, uh, for example, hierarchy matters to them. Mm -hmm. Who is first? No. Who is second? No, no, no. Not. And still, um, for example. For most people, they don't have an issue with God, the Father being God, so they, mm. they don't have an issue mm. with that. Mm. But Jesus, mm. I, that's why you are saying that this is a fundamental um, a doctrine, doctrine of yes. the church. Yeah. If you don't take Jesus as God, then you've, he can't save you in that sense. Yeah, you cannot be saved, yes. <laughs> you cannot be saved. So you can't look at him less than what he is, and then he mm. doesn't fit any category like the book of Hebrews says. Mm. In the angel, among the angels, he's not in their group. Yes, He's yes. not among us, he's yes. beyond us. And yes. The only category left is his God. His God. <laughs> his, his deity. Actually, there is, uh, mm -hmm. I think also what people struggle with. People mm -hmm. struggle with the humanity and the deity of, 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 of Christ, Jesus. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So we have to understand that when he walked on earth, when he was born, he was, mm -hmm. he was God incarnate. Mm -hmm. Now that simply means, actually I think it's Colossians that says, in him dwells the fullness, fullness of, of the God. Godhead bodily. Mm -hmm. So it's, the Godhead is a term that refers to the, uh, the three, the Holy mm -hmm. Trinity. Mm -hmm. So in him dwelt the whole uh, Trinity. In flesh now. In flesh, yes. So he was 100% God. God and 100% man. Human being. Yes. So <laughs> that is the only way salvation could have been accomplished. Imagine. Yes. And um, I think it should remain that way because if, yes. for example, we were, suppo we were able to explain away the Trinity, mm. then we are better than the Trinity. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> if, 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 God, if God was a God that we could fully understand and mm -hmm. fully explain, then I think he'll not be God. Then we really. ourselves will be God. No, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 th I think one of the marvelous mm -hmm. things is mm -hmm. when, when we get into eternity, into heaven, mm -hmm. I mean, we'll spend all those billions and billions of years. Part of it is, is really getting to know more of God. And yeah. we'll never really exhaust to yeah. know the vastness of who he is. Those are the problems yeah, because eternity. for us we are used to finite finite things yes, so that yes. when mm. we meet infinity, mm. we don't know what to deal with it because yes. we cannot imagine there is you see, maybe that's why mm. the the twenty four elders and the living creatures, yes. they from time to time they just bow down and because they've uh, realized worship. something yes. total new and yeah. an awesomeness of God. They've never they have an before. insight of of who God is that we do not have. Yes. Yeah, and that is what will cause them. How, 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 how will they worship? I mean, all these years, I mean, <laughs> continuously like that. It's, it's, it's not because forced. of that. Yes, it's not. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's reflex. Yes. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes. and then the Holy Spirit. Being God, sometimes mm. also some people will say, you know, the Holy Spirit is like electricity, is a, a power, force, or a something force, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Like no, he's a person. Really, really, the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. is 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 a person, mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, he, he's the person that the person of the Holy Trinity mm -hmm. that actually points us to Jesus. That is mm -hmm. his his work mm -hmm. essentially. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if anything, I always say, Yakumba, he's 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 very selfless. I mean, if if there is. Anyone who is selfless, he's Spirit. God himself, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he's, he's very selfless. He points us to Jesus. And that is why when you talk about uh, the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. which is really, uh, uh, you know, saying no mm -hmm. to what he's trying to do, Spirit, and that yeah. is to point you to Jesus for mm -hmm. salvation, uh, then that is the sin that cannot be pardoned. Really. Yes, so it's like 
yeah. the person is supposed to get you out of the hole, mm, yes, you exactly. refuse to yeah, take the hand. You say no. He, he, he stretches out the hand and he says no, no, no. I don't no. want I, I'm going to figure out I my own way. Hand. Yeah, yeah, or I'm <laughs> going to figure out my own way how to get out of this okay. hole. Okay. Um, yes. So the Holy Spirit is a person, and from the Bible, actually, yes. Christ said, I'll send you another helper. Yeah. A comforter, mm. he will do this, and we know there are things that only a person can. Um, and when men, we talk about person, people confuse it with human beings only. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a person is any entity that has uh, the intellect, the yes. will. Yes, that's what personhood means. Yes, yes. So God has uh, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are persons in that sense. Yes, they yes, have intellect, okay. will, and I think the third thing I, I keep forgetting. Mm. So. Then the Holy Spirit has all those things so that you are able to. We are told that we can grieve Him. Yes, we yes, can't yes. Grieve he can't uh, grieve the wind, the man, mm -hmm. electricity. Mm -hmm. It's a person who has emotions mm -hmm. as well and wind. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And um, the people in this age also have a problem with God being referred to as He. Mm -hmm. They say, actually, I had one of the, in one of the American things, the, somebody praying She. <laughs> to God. Why do you think that is wrong? Or <laughs> are they right? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, God refers to himself, uh, the Bible refers to, when, when we talk about God, it refers to him as, as he. Mm -hmm. uh, I think part of it, when w the, the whole rise of uh, feminism mm -hmm. has, has contributed to that, where mm -hmm. we think, uh, because even the Bible refers to us being sons of God, it's not just referring to the male gender, mm -hmm. it's actually referring to all of us who've come mm -hmm. to faith in Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think there are people who have a problem uh, with why why is the Bible, they think of it as, as scripture of the Bible being chauvinistic mm -hmm. against women or something mm -hmm. like that. But uh, that is, I believe that is not, not, not really true. Um, so... Uh, I, I think people should not get so much into, you know, uh, refer to God as she or he. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I, think that, I think it's very ridiculous. And then uh, that, yeah. I think also for us, even as men, it's not that God is male, he doesn't have gender. Mm. And for us still that is hard to understand yeah, in yeah, that yeah. sense. Mm. Uh, and then I normally tell, tell also people that, um, you know, only Jesus has seen the Father. Mm. He came to this world and mm. when he taught us how to pray, he said, Father. Mm. So the one who knows him introduced uh, to us to him, uh, him to as his father. A father. So yeah. I'd rather go with him, the one who yeah. knows him, yeah, rather than this, this one who was speculating mm. about mm. things here. Mm. And that is the dissatisfaction, dissatisfaction that also the enemy brings in in our place in, in God's creation. Mm. And we think that we can be happier if we change. You know, like the what Peter speaks about and Jude, the angels who did not yeah, keep, their, whole, keep yeah, their places. Their original places. So yes. there's that temptation always to think mm. that I'm this, I've, I've been given lower than I, I yeah, deserve. I should be. Yeah, so that's yeah. what the enemy would be doing to the yeah, women, uh, when actually their true happiness, satisfaction is found mm -hmm. in what God has already assigned to them. And it's, yes. we understand from Christ's interaction and what he did to women for his time and even for this time, mm. he liberated them and he gave them a place that they didn't have before. Mm. That he's telling the husbands, you cannot divorce your wife anyhow, yeah, anywhere you true. want. Mm. You have to still love her mm. and like I've loved my church. church that is exactly. quite high. Yeah, is another yeah, level. Yeah. Okay. And, and also like mm -hmm. God God actually encompasses mm -hmm. the way you say God, God is not gender it's not gender for him because he's he's both and that is why uh, men express a side of God and mm -hmm. women express another, another side yeah. of God mm -hmm. exactly True. yeah the emotional part yeah, mm -hmm. exactly men you know, women can understand God in that sense when, mm. for example, Jesus weeps over Jerusalem. Mm. For a man, you're thinking, what is wrong with this man? <laughs> <laughs> for a woman, you understand that I want my children, but they don't want to take me in. Yeah, yeah. so, uh, that's hard for us to understand, but that is the reality. Yeah, and we'll find satisfaction and joy and all the things that we think we'll get by not doing what God wants. Yeah. We'll get them by doing what he has asked us exactly. to do. Okay, exactly. um, let's move on to another question. Um, you know, one of the situations also we find ourselves in, we find children asking you, there are small sins, big sins. <laughs> <laughs> are there categories of sin? <laughs> are there some sins that if you do, you you'll still get into heaven, but there are some that you'll do <laughs> and you'll not get into heaven. <laughs> yeah. Um, that, uh -huh. Uh, my, my my understanding of scripture from that is I'll, I'll say is there a big sin a small sin mm -hmm. uh, let me let me put it this way I know my answer will be a bit ambiguous but let me put it yes and no mm -hmm. uh, 
the, there is no uh, big sin or small sin, first of all, because sin is rebellion against God. It separates us. Oh, so it's from a God. relationship issue. Yes, it's so a relationship even issue. An act, uh, no, an no, 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 no. It's, it's really, uh, this gets in the way of me having a healthy uh, relationship with my Heavenly Father, uh, with my God. It's rebellion uh, against God. So uh, that becomes a denominator for every other every sin. Senior. Yes. Mm -hmm. So whether you want to you want to think of it in in the human mind that this is a small sin, this is a big sin mm -hmm. uh, in that regard. But then again, no, in the sense that uh, you remember when Jesus was uh, being presented to Pontius Pilate, mm -hmm. uh, if you remember the, the part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And um, I believe it should be in Matthew 19, if I'm not so wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and Jesus said uh, to Pontius Pilate, mm -hmm. you, you really have no authority over me mm -hmm. unless it's given to you from above. Mm -hmm. uh, but he who has delivered me to you is guilty of a greater sin. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> Jesus himself says, he said there good. was a greater sin. Uh, and in that regard, and, and, of, and of course... Uh, there's another place where it says every every other sin, I believe it's First Corinthians 6, mm. every other sin a man commits is outside the body, uh, but he who sins uh, sexually, sexually uh, sins, sins against, against his own body. So, mm. so you realize that that is uh, a different categorization of, mm. of, of sexual sin in itself. Um, I, I believe also around, I think, Matthew 12, mm -hmm. there is a group uh, that Jesus was talking to mm -hmm. and he was comparing them to Sodom and, and Gomorrah and he says, yeah. you people will face uh, stricter or harsher yeah, harsher, harsher judgment, <laughs> judgment mm -hmm. than Sodom and Gomorrah uh, and and um, the reason for that is if you go f uh, back to where Jesus said the people who delivered me to you are guilty of the greatest, greatest sin, sin. Um, th the reason was Pontius Pilate uh, th the people who delivered him Jesus to Pontius Pilate mm -hmm. uh, was of course Judas Iscariot and and the and the, the chief, yeah, the chief high priest mm -hmm. and the Sanhedrin. Mm -hmm. These are people who knew scriptures. Yes, they, they knew understand. who Jesus. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. they knew this is the Messiah. They mm -hmm. knew it pointed to him that this is the Messiah mm -hmm. who is supposed to save humanity. Mm -hmm. And having an understanding of scripture, they still went ahead and condemned the Son of God. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is their accountability here is based on the level of understanding. Knowledge. Yes, knowledge. God. You know. Yes, okay. you know. To you those know. With knowing, mm. yes, you do. If, if you do something, yes, you know, it's knowingly, yes, then that becomes it, 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 yeah, it becomes so. Pilate, maybe for him, is a Roman, yeah, he's a Roman, <laughs> he's a Roman, he's, he's he's outside, you know, he's not a Jew, yes, so yes. he's 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 actually a Gentile, he's so doing what he, any case he, exactly the law, yeah, he's just a state <laughs> official, uh, doing uh, his duties and responsibilities, mm -hmm. he's convicting Jesus, so mm -hmm. he's, he's doing it in ignorance, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. these ones had the knowledge, mm -hmm. and, and I think that's why you have to be careful about. Uh, I believe uh, David writes in Psalm 19 about uh, God keep me from presumptuous sins. Mm -hmm. Presumptuous sins Sin are, knowingly. you know, you know that it's wrong to do this, mm -hmm. and then you go ahead and do it, and, do and, it and, 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 and that is, becomes a presumptuous sin. And, and also apart from that, <coughs> uh, some sins that we commit, mm -hmm. uh, the repercussions are greater. Mm -hmm. The repercussion, the damage is greater mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. other sins. For example, yeah, so if the, yes. the the consequences of a particular exactly. sin. There's some. There, it's not the same it's level the same. and yes. quantity of consequences. Mm -hmm. If I can put because that. an example, if if I go to my workplace and then mm -hmm. I, I I I I steal a T-shirt mm -hmm. <laughs> from the store, mm -hmm. an extra T-shirt, branded mm -hmm. company T-shirts. I just steal one, and you know I want to take this to 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 uh, to my mother or, mm -hmm. or my sister or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, that the damage of that is not the same as if I went out and succumbed to a sexual sin of sleeping with someone's wife. Mm -hmm. Because now that one simply means, hey, I have sinned against myself, I've sinned against uh, a marriage, mm -hmm. you know, someone's marriage. And before God and, as well. uh, and before God, of course, uh, mm -hmm. fundamentally. And, and that damage there is so, is so, is so deep. I mean, the, the marriage can break up and that means children become, mm -hmm. uh, you know, single parent children, something mm -hmm. like that. So mm -hmm. the damage is, is not then the same as... Somebody can get pregnant and then all exactly, that yes. or STDs yes, and HIV. Yes, and all those things. So the consequences are also something that can define the, the category of sin in yes, that sense. And exactly. then also, what I'm thinking current, uh, at, mm -hmm. at the moment is that... Uh, mm -hmm. There are some things that it can be easier to re to reconcile the yes. relationship. Yes. There are some that will take you further, yes. make it harder mm. to reconcile. Even in human terms, yes. there are things I can do to my wife, and then we can reconcile quickly. Mm. There are some that mm. will take time. It takes time. Affect us differently mm. from mm. others. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm.